Welcome to a very special Halloween edition 2020 of the Fiber Hussies. I am one of your hostesses with the mostesses, Lady Chips. I am the original Mrs. Werther's. Original. The original Mrs. <laughs> Werther's. I like to uh, sew. <laughs> I like to knit and crochet. And I came in 96th place at the 100 Nights of Bette Midler. <laughs> And you, you like to watch. You do. Fiber Hustle episode 28. And it's obviously <laughs> a special edition. A special <laughs> Halloween edition, which we are uh, just getting in, <laughs> just getting under the wire. It's getting released. So we are recording. Uh, what is today? I have no idea. Everything's running together. <laughs> it's a whirlwind. It's, it's late. It's we're recording. If this is your first time watching us, welcome. <laughs> This? You, if this is the first time you're watching us, there is nothing to compare it to. So we're right on par. <laughs> yes, now we want to have a little bit of fun, especially since the holidays. And we dressed as the Fiber Hussies for our bingo game, which we'll talk about probably towards the end of the show. Uh, I like how I'm even doing this kind of stuff. Our bingo game a couple days ago, and we're like, why not we do the whole podcast this way? But, 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 bingo! Bingo, yes! So, um... So what? Who cares? This, I realize I look like a hot mess. Chip, you did much better than I did. Okay, so um, what is your name? The original Mrs. Werther's. And because one, because I had Werther's candies in my last photo shoot. And I forget who it was. Somebody was on Instagram said you should go buy Mrs. Werther's. Werther's Originals. Original Mrs. Werther's. Ta-da. And I am Lady Chips. Lady Chips. And my inspiration is 1990s Delta Burke uh, from Designing Women and 2000s uh, Prue, uh, is it Lay? What is Prue's last name? Uh, from, Lee, uh, Lay from um, The Great British Bake Off. My inspiration is a meltdown at Macy's when I thought I was super ugly <laughs> and Chips said, I will get you the wig. Uh, he ordered this wig. I ordered a black one. I looked washed out. I looked terrible. I know I am not a pretty girl. But your whole body hangs from your cheekbones. <laughs> That's it. Um, if you are uh, someone who does drag and watching us, uh, we're sorry. Yeah, this is the second time that we've done it. And now this in is more in, in like decades. This is the second time. And two times this week. And I don't know, like the first time, it, we only spent like an hour and a half getting ready. It was kind of like speed drag. We had time tonight, and I don't know that it made that much of a difference. <laughs> I think I looked better a couple of days ago. But last Friday, who was up till 2 in the morning, rhinestoning their F and H for Fiber Hustle dress? Wait, I have, I have a Fiber Hustle necklace. Look at you, but look at my... <laughs> Uh, okay. okay, so I'm not even going to complain that you feel a top more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's awesome. No, we're going to have fun with it. So uh, welcome to the episode. Welcome. Chip, what have you been doing? Anything exciting? Oh, I actually took a day of PTO to get ready for today's podcast. I have makes. Makes ready. Yeah, what do we have come up? We have makes we have makes. We have what are you making? What are you making? We have uh, me knit pretty someday. You made that? Uh, have you made that? Uh, we have a little, just a little catch up, then we'll get into everything. Love it. <laughs> love, love it. You know what? You are all in for a treat. So how are you liking the hair? I really do. I love your hair. Yours or mine? I'm, oh, oh, oh. I saw you looking in the screen and saying, I love your hair. And I swear to God, you were talking to yourself. Well, I mean, Lady Chips is gorgeous. I mean, I can't help it if I walk in a room and all eyes are on me. <laughs> Seamus and I. That's the only eyes that have been on you. No kidding. So we are, when we knew where we were going to be taping um, this evening, we put um, cardboard all over the bay window in front of us because, I mean, I did not want the neighbors I mean, like, we have new neighbors, and he's like, we are putting cardboard in front of the windows. We're doing this. We're blocking out. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I really don't care. And he was there. So we looked like trash. I don't look. What? The cardboard. Oh, the cardboard. Front, cardboard covering the windows. This I forgot like, my perfume. Ooh, Gina Tay, Tay, Tay. Hey, 
Go with the go. Go with the good stuff. Gina Tay. Oh my gosh. Let's get into the show. Anyways, how much is too much? Um, uh, but the third spray was stand too much. <laughs> no, I think you're adorable. Speaking of adorable, uh, my only catch up is I met up with Carrie last week from the Creative Obsession. Or was it two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Uh, loved meeting up with her. We met around the St. Helens area. We did a little hike around, uh, I think it was Sequest Park. Then we looked at a little viewing point uh, at St. Helens. We knit by a river for, are you going to sign? Okay. We knit by a river for a little bit. All COVID, we were 12 feet apart, had a good time. And then she tried to get me lost in the woods. Which was actually fine. Now we went on a little hike in the woods and it was great. And Carrie, I loved spending time with you. Creative Obsession, one of our favorite podcasts. She I am like, so jealous I didn't get to go. I was actually at the J-O-B mm -hmm. doing my T-H-I-N-G and I couldn't go. So next time, the, actually the first thing that I asked Aaron when, it, when uh, you got home, I was like, how tall is she? <laughs> I was like, she's lady tall? She looks like a, she looks like a little lady. Does she? Yes. She, she's not like, what? She, she's she's, she's like by, your, by your height. Oh, she's petite. <laughs> she's petite, yes. No, but I we had such a great time, and uh, it was good times. Let's get into, this is this is an awkward episode, just because uh, there's can, hair flying, there's rings, there's bling, there's... Take it all This show's in. got everything. Take Hot it all mess. in. So, it's got everything. <laughs> Chip. You made that? I did. I made this. I made the blouse. I love a little boat neck. It accentuates my my clavicles if I if I just wear it to one side. Actually, I was making this late. This actually goes better for lady chip, uh, lady chips. But I actually made it for chip, and it just it was too feminine. And then I was like, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. I actually feel like 1990s um, Delta Burke, like she had her... Do we need to get your little pads? Her shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> and that's the night the lights went out in Georgia. That was her sister. I know, but still, it was about her. Uh, yeah. So this was all made on a serger. And just before podcasting, I forgot that I left the pattern somewhere. This house is a disaster. I was just like, I sat down and like, my feet hurt. I am not getting that pattern. So we will make sure that the, the pattern is in the show notes. And actually, I think it would make a great blouson for a woman or... So would, you didn't put this together. It's all like the pat, it, the fabric came that way. The fabric came this okay. way. It's a, a poly rayon. Ooh, now that's high class, it's right? All, it's all flowy. Um, I love my hair. I'm just, I mean, like, and this blouse, you're feeling I'm, yourself. I'm feeling the fantasy and like um, Prue with her. She is iconic with her necklace. And it was she just like necklaces. a perfect accessory. I didn't wear a necklace because I thought it might take away from my F and H. Start a laughing fit for no reason because it's not going to stop. It's not going to end. Honey, your eyelashes will not. <laughs> Boof. I feel like this one's like <laughs> wonky. You know what? We will never say another bad thing about Drag Race girls again. Like we're so like couch warriors. Like oh yeah, I would do this and da 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 da. da. No. God bless. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it's not our career for us, obviously. So anyway, thanks for asking. Who am I wearing? <laughs> I don't remember the name of the pattern. Who cares? <laughs> It'll be in the show notes. It'll be below. in the show notes, and um, I'm actually wearing it with culottes. <laughs> you, you actually are. I, I'm wearing it with culottes, so I will give you a leg. Ooh, those were at Macy's. Were they? My culottes. How long ago? Um, I don't know. Two I years ago? I got this at Macy's. Can really? you believe this was in the clearance bin? 80% off? Shocking. Calvin Klein, y'all. I don't know why people think they can't afford good stuff. <laughs> I actually, it, you know what? He, uh, She 
searched high and low. And ladies, I, I feel the pain. It is not easy. Ladies have a lot more choices than gentlemen, though, at It's like the, the cereal aisle. Cereal aisle? Cereal. Cereal. Cereal aisle or the soap aisle, where there's so many choices. It's like, what am I supposed to use? True. Very true. So anyway, I love your... Um, your look. Thank you. It's all put together. Little secret. Sugar and cream. <laughs> <laughs> now is that a is that a cake? That is a I guess it's considered a cake. Do you like my cakes? Huh? <laughs> Honey, she's got two cakes under there. She's got, she's got cakes. She's got cakes. Wow, do you got a bottle of gin? Oh I got I got my wine though. Do you mm. have, is that really wine? Have a taste. No, no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we gotta move the show along. Okay. So, um, yeah, I made that. Great. Uh, uh, Mrs. Original <laughs> Werthers. The original Mrs. Werthers. The original Mrs. Werthers. Miss, you made Miss, that. Mrs. W for short. Yes. So, gang, uh, I finished for Aaron his "Don't Ask" card again. And he is super, super excited about it. He went last week to Rattlesnake Lake when he was he on PTO. And he took some photos. And it fits perfect. I blocked it. I, I think last time he showed it, he was about here. And all that's all he had to do. And put the buttons on. So he finished it. He blocked it. The arms did grow a little bit. So he had goodness. help. He had some help with blocking water. <laughs> and some other stuff, but no, super happy with it. Uh, the buttons maybe could be done again, just because they're, when I was doing them, they didn't look as wonky. And then when I finished, they kind of do look wonky. But uh, I'm very happy with this cardigan. Again, Don't Ask by Isabel Kramer. It is not pieced. It is uh, the fake seams. So you start here and then you knit the back and you come around to the front right side, but that's left actually. Then you go back around and you kind of knit and you purl, knit and purl. Then you bind off the arms, not bind off the arms. You uh, put arms on scrap yarn. Then once you're finished with the body, you go back and you knit the arms and then you add pockets. And inside those pockets, you all, you can put tons of Werther's Originals. Of Werther's Original. Yes, and just like me, I'm the original Mrs. Werther's. Actually, that's going to be allowed. So, yeah, I love this cardigan. It's made out of studio. Oh, she's going to kill me. Marine's going to kill me. It's not dongle because she corrected me at bingo. It looks like dongle to us, but... Uh, Donegal? That could be it. I forget. But, yeah. It's finished. We'll put that in the show notes as well. But super, super excited. But yes, Isabel Kramer, Don't Ask Cardigan. I would recommend it to anyone. Worsted weight. And um, yeah, I love the striping I did. I made it my own. It is nice and soft. It is nice and soft. It's not It's not like overly heavy. Is it warm? Uh, it is warm, actually. I can't put it on for you, but yeah, so what? Who cares? <laughs> so what? Who cares? Chip. I think... Lady Chips. Lady Chips. You made that? I did. Do you like parties? Mm. Do you like to get scared? Mm. I bet you do. I mean, yes. <laughs> so I made... Um, what did I make? I made some Halloween pennants that are behind us. <sighs> so we got the happy Halloween and the nice bloody letters. Ooh. Love Spooky. it. You know what? I mean, since it's all these um, pandemic days anyway, I mean, might as well have a party at your house by yourself. It's true. It's truth. Truth. No pattern. Cut your cut your triangles. Cut your letters. Applique them on. No, I think it's so cool. No, it was a lot of fun. And so I had the reverse, the negative. So I have the um, the blood with the black ba background, and then I have the blood with the white um, background. And it was just fun. Uh, last year I made a, what did I make? Your eyes are so blue. 
Thank you. It's probably the god awful eyeliner or the eyeshadow I have on. No, it's really your eyes are just oh, popping. Well, yeah, I wish we had a cameraman to bring them in. Oh, you know what I forgot? The bad thing? I apo we apologize. We know this is in 4K. <laughs> You're gonna see chunky, crunchy, of, crunchy, chunky, crunchy. Oh, I can't do it. But anyways, did you use? Oh. Oh, oh, me. oh, press conference, press conference. Uh, you, young lady over there lady in chips. the white. Yes. Did you use the AccuQuilt for anything that you did behind us? Terrific question. I did. I used the AccuQuilt for the letters. The letters come in, in two different um, boards, so A through Z. And I think the number one, zero through nine Yes, mm. all on all on two boards, but um, it is a lot of fun. And the funny thing is, is I was not thinking today when I was making it, but I just happened to do it right. When first you take your fabric and you lay it out, and then you take your um, double-sided um, sticky and you iron it on, and then you actually want to have your fabric down next to the le the lettering and the paper on top. Because if you do it this way, all the letters are backwards on the board. Mm -hmm. So if you have your sticky on the bottom and then the letter, you're going to wind up with a backwards letter. But if you do your fabric on the bottom and sticky on top, then you're going to have it right side up. So I did good on that. You did great on it. It's fun. It's going to be hung up in the house for yes. a few more days. For a couple of days. A couple of days. But you know what? Halloween is my favorite time of the year. And like, I have not dressed up or gone to a Halloween party in years. And look at you now. And pandemic, here we come. Party of two. <laughs> party of two. Here so, we come. yes. And like, what I really love is that it's more old fashioned. I'm an old fashioned gal. <laughs> I think I am. Um, subtle on the makeup. I don't like to go overboard too much. I like old fashioned ways. Um, were you going to say something, sister? I wasn't. I've got my glasses on. The, ra <laughs> the library can be open. The library is open. <laughs> oh, God. We apologize. We know, as Ray and Kevin would say, this is a poo-poo show. Yeah, this is an S show. So, <laughs> but you know what? We're here for fun. So, yeah. So, happy Halloween, gang. Happy Halloween. Aaron. Yes. You made that? I'm sorry. Mrs. W. Yes, uh, I did make this for uh, Chip. <gasps> I have finally finished the Hatch Hat for Chip that you have been requesting for a while. Now, this is the Hatch Hat by Emily Green. It was a Brooklyn Tweed pattern in a DK weight. I made this out of Serial Knitters. Uh, Serial Knitters yarn. This is terrible because the house is so, here it is. <laughs> Serial Knitters Die House by Serial Knitters DK White Bridal Trails and the colorway is matcha. Matcha, like a green tea. Yes, like a green tea and it's a forest green. It is gorgeous. It is delicious. It's soft <laughs> and Hatch Hat is one of my favorite patterns. Literally, this is probably the fifth or sixth one I've made and but I, I've so made it for Chip. I know that Chip has been whining like a little baby because Aaron would wear his um, Gustav Klimt gold hatch hat, and I know Chip loves it. I know. So, Lady Chips, thank you for coming in and rescuing Chip. He, I'm sure, is going to be so grateful and proud to wear it. Woohoo! No, I know uh, it's a lots of uh, a little bit of texture to the hat, which makes it kind of fun, and it goes up. Uh, the 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 closing is really pretty and perfect, and it's just a great hat for anyone. And I love me some Die House Yarns by Serial Knitters. They uh, unfortunately went out of the Serial Knitters, the block store. The brick and mortar. The brick and mortar went out of business, but uh, Deb is still doing Serial Knitters, the underground. So check out her yarns because I love yarn. them all. My kind of yarn. The underground. <laughs> yes. So that is also what I have made. And, uh, Again, can't put it on right now to show you, but it's great. It's like a dream. I love it. Um, lady Chips. Lady Chips. Did Oh, yes. Lady Chips, you made that? 
I sure did. Honey, the sewing machine was singing today. <laughs> um, okay. So, I hear Chip has been making some baskets and they're very popular. So, I Ooh, thought I, love I Chip's would basket. make one for Halloween. What? <laughs> Did you just, did you just say that <laughs> you love Chip's Basket? <laughs> Honey, everybody loves Chip's Baskets. <laughs> so how about a Halloween with a, with a spooky background? And I might as well just say it now because it was going to be vulgar. When I was making it, I was like, Honey, she was bejeweling her life out till two in the morning. And so the, the, I wanted to get on the bejeweling action. Look, some of us don't have them. Stop playing with yours. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I wanted to get on the, uh, the bejeweling action. Mm. And so I gave some kitty eyes and I was actually gonna make a little stinker. <laughs> so glad you did. A little bejeweled stinker. And I think I still may. Um, Cause I think it would, it would just a little bling. <laughs> it's cute. No, that's the cutest bas basket. It's adorable, and I can't wait to use it. Cause will you use it for anything? So I this will be knitters. for what our how. Uh, actually, I'm gonna load it up with um, some like straw or like the paper um, confetti mm -hmm. to give it like some waft, and then put Halloween candy in there. And then you go to the door and say, "Hey, kids, look at this stinker." <laughs> Kids will love it. Kids will love it. But you know, it's like an ombre. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's fierce. And I, I just, I just absolutely love it. No, I love it too. I mean, the orange. It looks like a sunset and everything, and it's gorgeous. So I love Halloween, and I'm glad that uh, I had the day off, and I just was going to town. So. One thing that I do have to do is go back and I want to do a, a stay stitch or um, like an edge stitch on, all the way around because what you notice is that the fabric will start to pucker. But if, I'm, if I pull it taut and then do the stay stitch, then it'll stay more tight rather than looking kind of baggy. Mm -hmm. Yes, but meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's adorable and it's super cute and super fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then next year, um, all through the holidays, you can take this through the house and do your fall, like do October. Do I have to wear it like that? Your October um, knitting when you go around the house and with your remote and your beer. <laughs> a lady like me doesn't drink beer. Your um, TV Features guide. Wine from a box. So your, tip it. Your US Weekly People magazines. Yes, exactly. How fun. So, yes. No, I love it. It looks great. I made that. Good job. Um, I have one more. This is, uh, this is, this is going to be interesting and hard. So, I'm actually getting emotional right now. So, um, I did ask permission if we could tell this story on the episode, and I told the lady Celeste that I go, I finished your project and I would love to tell it on the podcast. I go, but if you don't want me on this particular episode, I totally understand. And she said her mom would love it. So we're going to do this. So this Donna, is, this one's for you. Donna, this is for you. Actually, this whole episode is, is I mean, would like, hopefully she would get a big charge out of it. Donna would get a big charge out of this. Uh, right before COVID, I got an email uh, from Celeste who was telling me about her mother, how excited she was to do. We had a Paris Tajours knit along at the beginning of the year. And she said that she, uh, her mother was so excited about the knit along, she would send her pictures of her progress. Then she didn't hear from her mother for a few days. Um, so then her sister and her actually talked and it turns out that she uh, got diagnosed with cancer. This is at the beginning of February. And uh, event, like literally, I think just a couple weeks later had passed away. So, Passed away, and she asked me. It's okay. <laughs> I know. I just feel ridiculous dressed like this, telling this story. But so, Donna uh, Celeste asked me if I would finish her mother's 
uh, Paris de George Shaw because she was literally almost completed with it and only had a few rows. I said, of course I would do that. There's nothing more I would love to do. And we know Donna, she commented, she made comments. Uh, she would, she followed us on Instagram. She joined the Paris de Jours and along on Facebook. So, so she was a hustler. She was. She, she was, was one hustler. of the hustlers and, I said, and, and an active member. And I said, 100% send it to me. Don't worry about the price or anything. I'll find out where she left off and finish it. Then COVID hit. So we talked and well, we can't send it now. Then I think she lives, uh, no, Donna lives in Georgia. And I think her Celeste lives in Florida. And then a hurricane hit. So it took this Shaw like five months to get to us, but it did come. I was able to finish it. So this is the Paris du Jour Shaw. Celeste didn't know anything about the needles, the yarn or anything, because she's not a knitter, she does crochet. I can't tell you anything about the needles or the yarn as well, but I am proud that I was able to finish this for Which, someone. She was like at, at, she was at almost touchdown. She was, yeah. She All I really had to close. do is when the it, it came or on the needles had stitch markers and looked like all she had left to do was the garter stitch right here. So literally Donna completed all of this except for I did the garter stitch. I finished it off. I'm thinking it's acrylic yarn so I might steam block it and then put it on a mat. Steam block it and put on that, and then I'm going to send it to Celeste because uh, well, no, Donna, we need was, to, we need Donna to, was making this for Celeste. But we need to do the hashtag Fiber Hustle um, Paris. Paris sure. Yes, we can we can show it off. For and, Donna. Because for, she would have finished it. For Donna. And again, Donna was a fan of the show when around, uh, Celeste said around episode three and four is when she started watching. Then she went back. She knows what the show is. And I'm honored to finish something like this. Sorry. No, I mean, so yeah. <laughs> this is what I look like. And it kind of makes me happy, but it makes me sad as well. So hopefully she did her justice. And thank you to everybody who does watch this show. It means a lot to us. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dog and pony act. And we always call it our tacky little show, but... When you get emails and stuff like that, it just means a lot that somebody actually was excited to take partake in something that we put together that knit along. And so the letter got us. I mean, like I, I cried like a baby. You read when it. I read it to and him then, on the couch. And then I read it, and I was in tears. So like. So here, this one's for so, if you have a drink at home, please pick it up. This one is for Donna. Oh, Donna, I wish it could have been better and we weren't so crunchy. Yes, exactly. But so thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for letting us be a part of that story. And thank you for that story hitting us. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So I have, um, I have, uh, that's all I made. I mean, I've been at, the, I've been at the sewing machine. That's, I made my blouse. That's all I made. I made the pennant. I made the basket. Everybody loves chips baskets. <laughs> Everyone loves chips baskets. Well, then, uh, what are you making? What am I making? Oh, so, um, curly seams. I Did I tell you guys that I am officially... No, Chip is. I'm Lady Chips. Uh, Chip has been named... Uh, I have been sanctioned into curly seams. I am now C4. Mm. because Emma is C1, Tracy is C2, Stuart over at the wool patch is C3, and I have been named C4, which, if you think about it, it's the explosively funny one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, anyway, uh, Curly Seams is doing the one-meter uh, challenge. So... A lot of the knitters were doing the one and done on um, knit one and done. Mm -hmm. And so Curly Seams started the uh, uh, one meter, so one meter, so it's... So one and done, kind so of. So one and done, yes, mm -hmm. 2020. And so I am just about finished, and I am making a lovely abstract. Mm -hmm. This is going to be, um, it's supposed to be a wall art, and it is going to be quilted. 
So I'm almost there. I am actually in flipping love with it. I love like this, um, I don't know, is this like a pusey, yellowy green? I don't know what the word pusey means. <laughs> <laughs> and you call yourself a lady. <laughs> Just got it. I was like, what? <laughs> oh Lord, it is that kind of show. So it's pusey, <laughs> and we got um, there's a dark dark gray, medium gray light gray, and then like a, a creamy color. And I was just going for different shapes and like there is some, a little bit of symmetry, but I tried to like um, break it up and just kind of move pieces around. Um, these are not, if somebody's gonna try to clock me on it, this is not supposed to be a flying geese. So don't try to, don't try to read me <laughs> and don't try to clock me on it. Um, but yeah, so you see some of these pieces are just not all the way correct, which is intentional. And I wanted it to be something that, um, you know, I like have a wall art that reflects what your, what your hobby is. I love it. It's a uh, perfect, perfect size. Yep. So it's just going to need a little name. Um, <laughs> what is that I say? <laughs> Pusey art. <laughs> Pusey art. It might be called Pusey art. I am making that. Love it. Again, there's no pattern. This has all just come from my thinker. <laughs> I love it. No, I think it's really good. Uh, Mrs. W. Yeah. Mrs. Werther's original. Uh, what, what are you I'm making? making? Um, I showed this last time, but I am still making the Benjamin Matthew Benjamin Matthews October Shaw. Waiting for October Shaw, and I just made a little bit of progress on it, and I'm about to switch colors. And I got my 14 rows here. Uh, again, I'm using black trillium yarn, and let me fold it you out look, here real quick. You just look like a, a woman who would knit. Do, my, my things keep on. I'm sure it happens in real life. Um, yeah, but I love the texture. I love everything about this so far. Um, I'm about ready to switch colors. And last we talked, or last Aaron talked to you guys, is he was off by 30 yards. So he talked about using, I don't think I have him in here anymore, talked about using a third color and kind of intertwining it. If you go back in episode, you'll see those colors. But I think they're gonna look messy. So what I'm gonna do is start on my darker color for the contrast color, finish that section, go back to the main color, and I think I'm gonna add a row, a couple rows to the end of this dark color again. That way I can make up for my loss of 30 yards. So yeah, it's gonna be two colors instead of three, unless something happens, then, um, then we're gonna, oh, I just had a gym fall off my face. <laughs> this is the part of the show we literally fall apart. <laughs> I might just have to drop these shoes. Honey, you're going to look like fashion roadkill. <laughs> I'm going to be like Lindsay Lohan in the early 2000s. So, yeah, um, Benjamin Matthews, Waiting for October, Shaw. Again, follow him on Instagram because he releases patterns all the time. Hat patterns, Shaw patterns. And sometimes for one week, he'll be like, hey, my patterns are free for one week for my birthday or... Uh, at the beginning of COVID, who is this? Benjamin Matthews Designs. Wow, is that the, is that the um, the gentleman uh, who actually helped you? Her? We, him? him? We we talked about uh, hims. We we talked about what to do, and he said, "Hey, I never seen it in a third color." I said, "Hey, maybe I will give it a try," and I lied to him because I'm not gonna do a third color. But here's a picture of what his pattern originally looked like. So I think it's gonna be. Gorgeous. No, I'm super excited. And you know what? Bring the picture back. Mm -hmm. It is going to look smarvy on a gentleman with facial hair. Oh, a guy with facial hair? Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> is, is this the first time y'all have seen this one? Yeah, it's 
I shaved. Smooth. And I just automatically, like, two seconds later, red bumps. I'm like, what is happening to my face? And my lips are always chapped. So, yeah, I miss my facial hair, but it'll grow back. This hair won't. Well, <laughs> glitter. Yeah. <laughs> glitter. Yeah. So, yeah. So what? Who cares? But, yeah. Benjamin Matthews waiting for October shawl is in the works and uh, maybe by next time Someone will have it completed Love it chip. Do you have anything for lady you know, chips for lady chips? Do you have anything for? Uh, what are you making? No, that I was making that like, no, no, I was making it. That's all I have as well. But I have uh, a mean it pretty someday I can show everybody. So hold on. So Charlotte, I just want to let you know the um, the snowflake wall art is mm. in progress. Yes. I won't leave you hanging. <laughs> wah, wah. Keep it foxy. <laughs> um, let me show, I don't have a picture of the pattern, but you guys, I'm super excited and super nervous because I am going to attempt to make my awesome, wonderful sister a sweater for Christmas. It is the uh, City Limits sweater by Tennis Fiber Arts. And it is uh, by holding, it's a worsted weight or you can hold uh, two fingering weights together to get a marled look. And then I think it's like a lace weight with it. I think I'm just going to do two finger weights and leave the lace and mohair out of the whole situation. But I would like to show you my color story if I can. Um, I went to um, the Nifty Knitter, which is in Issaquah, Washington. They have a lot of great stuff. And I just bought some of their own kind of house dyed yarns. And I want to show you the color story I'm going to start with. This is Meeker Street. This is in their fingering weight called Flower Shop. And this first one is called Mixed Seeds. I feel like you're just looking at me like you're going to... I'm just taking Are you Are you angered in... by my looks? No, is my eyelash falling off? No, actually it's not. Okay, I feel like I have hair in my eyes. You have hair just going everywhere, but you're still gorgeous to me. Um, then after that, we're going to go with Rose Petal. Then after that, we're going to move on down to Mahogany which is another gorgeous color. Then we're gonna red it up even more with Duchess. And then I'm actually gonna use Trilogy Yarns on her glamour space, our friend Nancy, and this is Coco. So I'm thinking that these will work together. Uh, from what I've gathered so far is you knit the top, like I think I might need to separate this into two sections, two different skeins, and then together, then I drop this, introduce so these will be together and then eventually these will be together then these together then round it off with these two together i still need the swatch my sister gave me her measurements still a little bit nervous because she lives in ohio so there's really no one that uh, was you can, that no, was hilarious you're bigger than my sister her husband was making joke after joke doing her measurements and it actually was funny but it was like here are three men Two men on this side of uh, the West Coast, then somebody uh, in Ohio, and poor thing, like three men talking about her measurements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my sister, so I'm like, I don't need to know everything, but I do need to know everything. So I'm super excited, and also apparently this sweater you can wear inside out, or like with this, the stockinette side uh, showing or uh, reverse garter stitch on the other side. So I don't know how she's gonna wear it. Just again, a little bit nervous because what if it's like too small or just like too big, but that's why we swatch, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's why we swatch. But no, I'm excited to use this yarn and Nancy's yarn to kind of combine it and give it a pretty awesome look. So that's me knit purdy someday. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. You need to stop flipping that hair. Honey, don't mess with my fantasy. You're leading someone on out there. If I had I all of this, flip. like, I love, this. I love the color. I love the curl. Who wouldn't want this? <laughs> if we had a time machine back to 1987, maybe a lot of people would want that. Oh, oh, oh. 
girl, watch your straw. Okay, what else do we have? Um, mm. Oh, we have recap. B -b 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 bingo! We did have a Halloween bingo last week, and literally almost everyone dressed up for our Halloween bingo. Jimmy. <laughs> Except for Jimmy. Jimmy was Jimmy. And just like a couple other people. But we... I feel I feel confident calling out Jimmy. <laughs> I feel confident. Jimmy. John Boy New York. He has his podcast and we love his podcast. He also has it in Spanish. If you uh, would like to watch a Spanish speaking one as well. He has English and Spanish. Amore. We call it here bilingual. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. We can't I can't do any of that. I can do like two in, in German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, something else. What <laughs> else? But we had many, many donations come through Bingo, and we would at least like to give you a highlight. Of give you a highlight. What what was coming out? So, our friend Lisa donated. She didn't make these. But um, we take donations for bingo because people love to win prizes. She donated a Better Not Pout Art to Heart quilt set, and it comes with the Be Jolly quilts. I love that. I love that. I love, I love it, too. That. I wish. I'm glad somebody won, but I was like, oh, you could have made something with that. But no. And she also donated this baller bag, which is called Wild and Free. She did not make it, but she donated it, and it has very handsome bearded men. It and does. And up. I'm telling you, sister, you could get so much makeup in here. <laughs> so much. Aw. What's it say? It's uh, made by Luna Pie Designs. Um, oh. Amy Perez no, at let's... Luna Pie Designs on Etsy. Yes, I mean, it was really, really great. And it's it's nice that it's like, it's got a, a nice little... Yeah. Is it um, a box bottom? Is that what they call it? Well, it is a box bottom, but then I forget what this is called. It's like there's actually a frame, like a wire frame in there. Mm -hmm. So it's it stays. And you could get a lot e either yarn or makeup in there. Yes. And Lisa, thank you so much for your donation. I thought she was supposed to be at Bingo, but maybe she set this one out. It's filling up quick, kids, so uh, there's waiting lists and everything, so all good. Then our friend Jeff made this bag, especially, especially for us to donate. It's a cute little bag. You can put a thing of yarn in there. Um, it has a little tea bag in there, which I think goes with this yarn set. But Jeff, this bag is perfect it's got a nice zipper it has a cork bottom love another box bottom cork another cork box bottom and in that bag we have placed the winner also won this ancestral yarns limited edition from our gentleman friends at needles at the ready this is the colorway of tarquin it's a hundred percent super wash worsted and thank you to Ray and Kevin for their donation as well. These Jeff, came as a set. You really did a good job Jeff on this bag. Jeff did a really good job, and he said he just kind of started sewing. Look at that. It fits in there perfectly. Look at that. So check out that yarn be company, too, because it looks like yeah. amazing yarn. It's a little clutch. You, you're just turning everything into your own. <laughs> you're like, I'm not giving any of this away. So no. Look. And then our friend Nancy from Trilogy Yarns gave us a sock set. I don't want to open this because there's kind of a glitter explosion going on. There it is. Here. I'm noticing, so those who have won pri prizes, you might have a little glitter in it. So just FYI, this is Trilogy Yarns sock set. And this is, uh, ooh, a Halloween colorway of Mostly Dead. And just it looks, mostly. It looks gorgeous, Nancy. Thank you so much for your donation. Nancy is from Trilogy Yarns. She also has a podcast with her friend Kathleen called On the Needles. On the Needles. On the Needles, which they just had a new episode this morning that I watched half of because then I had to actually work. People are like blowing me up Welcome and stuff. back. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but no, Nancy, love this colorway. And I'm in love with her Halloween advent calendar that I purchased. I There's people that love to give spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not spoiling nothing just in case everybody's waiting until the last. Um, our friend Brendan 
donated a bunch of fat quarters. Are these called fat quarters, I think? Am I learning or am I not learning? You, honey. These are fat quarters for us to give well, away. Well, this, this is a fat quarter. Mm-hmm. These are fat quarters. And these are, what are they calling these? These are like um, charms. Okay. This is like a charm pack. It's a five inch charm pack. So someone is gonna have fun with that and they can make any kind of quilt they want. I don't know who this is by. This is, is it Windham? Windham Fabrics. Windham. Windham, okay. I love, like uh, right now, as you can see in my makeup, I am really into purples. You are, I saw that. I think everybody saw that from space too. <laughs> I was like, oh, I like purple today. Huh? Actually, I love this. I love this. Like this is a, this is a, that's not my favorite, but this, I love th this one's kind of got some paisley going on. No, I, like that I one. love this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, like these are some fun fabrics. They are gorgeous. I don't know why they put this other one on the outside. I love. Because you like the ones inside. I like the better. ones inside. Love the ones inside. Um, guys, check these out. So the Notorious Amy on Instagram has donated, she kind of crochets, I think it's crochets, not knits, these earrings. We gave away one set that actually are going to go with Nancy's yarn, sock set. But look at these earrings that she has made. Oh, I mean, come on. I want those. I know you do. I mean, these are gorgeous. They're purple. They're and in they're your purple. color. Uh, you know, I haven't worn earrings in... 25 years, and it took some doing, but I found my holes. <laughs> <laughs> Did it hurt at all? My right one hurt, so I have some, I don't know if you can see, I have, um, what do they call this? A face? A face, half a face. Half a face, and the other is half a face. And the other half is... It looks very Hedwig inspired. It's very, but you know what, these... No, don't put them in. I'm not going to put them in, but I just think these would be... Perfect with my outfit. No, and she actually, for our next bingo, uh, she sent uh, three pairs. We're showing you these now, but she uh, is gonna, not going to, she sent us some more pairs to give away for our next bingo, and they're awesome. This is So we'll put her Instagram here. Notorious. That we can, notorious, Amy. No, thank you so much. Love it. Uh, just a couple more things. Our friend, obviously, Stuart at the Wool Patch. Stuart. He has sent us some of his Lavenham Blue 2020 collection. This is something that he dyed with Woad. <laughs> Stuart, call me. Don't call me. Uh, no, this is fingering weight, and we talked about it last time because mine came. He was kind enough to donate this to Bingo. We love Stuart, some of us more than others. No, we love Stuart. So, Stuart, thank you. And then last but not least, our friend Betsy from Betsy Fibers has recently just start, started. Well, uh, well, well, this was the coming up on the grand prize. Yes, dyeing yarn. So uh, the first hank we have here is a bulky 137 yards, 100% super wash merino in the colorway of 24. And it's, again, Betsy Fibers. I mean, come on, look at this, guys. Purple. This is gorgeous. Purples, bluish, all kinds of yumminess in there. And then she sent this whole one hank with a bunch of minis, and we gave that as a grand prize to the best costume, which our friend Lucy won. Was Lucy's... She, is it Day of the Dead, you call it? She, or? A dia, dia, well, dia dos... Los Muertes. She looked amazing. Dia dos That's all los you need to muertes. Know. So this was the uh, grand prize for the the uh, costume contest. It's a large skein, weight of DK, 246 yards, and then the mini skeins are 24 yards. And look at this die And gang, job. what was so much fun is that um, her she had crochet. Uh, Lucy had crocheted uh, carnations in mm -hmm. her in her in her headpiece. Yes. And her daughter spent a couple hours doing her makeup. She looked phenomenal. There was, hands down, she was everybody's favorite, not everybody's, but <laughs> she won. She won the majority she vote. She won the, the popular vote. And she had all of these colors 
in her carnation. So it was it was so much fun that she won that. It is. And Betsy, thank you so much for your donation. Mm -hmm. She recently, just like in the last week or two, launched Betsy Fibers. She also has a podcast on YouTube, which podcast we want to start changing into Fibercast. I think we should call everything <gasps> a Fibercast. A Fibercast. Like Kevin calls uh, not a stash anymore. He calls it their pantry because you always got to refill the pantry with uh, yarn and whatever you do. So, so, uh, Stuart, so I think Stuart, we should start changing and calling everything a fiber cast instead of a podcast from now on. So I love it. Go on, girl. Go on. Go. <laughs> honey, she almost flipped her wig. But Betsy, again, thank you very oh, much for honey, the donate. What honey, happened? fix it. What's happening? <laughs> That's a man, Maury. Boop. <laughs> Technical issues. Yes. <laughs> no, but, uh, Again, thanks for the donation. Bingo is a hoot. So we're thinking about doing it again, one more before the end of the year. And we're gonna do a bingo December 13th, which is a Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific. What time? I always forget what it is. Pacific what? Well, I don't know. Does the time change? Oh, well, it's I'm still. going through the change, but I don't know if the time changes. <laughs> the, time, the time changes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so in the show notes, there will be a link. Mm. In the show notes, underneath the subscribe button, underneath the bell. I wonder how many people have unsubscribed after this episode. <laughs> underneath the subscribe button and underneath the bell, there's show notes and we're going to give you all the tea. <laughs> so sign up from that link. It's so there's a link you and you'll your... give your, all your, your, um, your 411, your info. <laughs> your 401k, your social security <laughs> number. No, nothing like that. No, and we do not, we're not using it to like... We don't mass market anyone. it. We, we don't, don't share it with anybody. We respect your privacy, or Stuart calls it privacy. Privacy. As Curly seems that they're, uh, they call it privacy, and Stuart calls it the haberdashery. <laughs> so does. I was thinking about that. So um, I'm out. Ray and Ki <laughs> killed it. I need more go-go juice. I tip it. Where's my box? Well, don't get it on your blouse. I won't. No, but Ray and Kevin call it the pantry, and I guess we have the haberdashery. The, ha the haberdashery, yes. Had um, to have it, Shuri. Had to have it. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Ooh. I'm losing my, my goods. Anyway, we encourage you to play. We would love you to play. If you played last time, you can still sign up. You might be on a holding list. If you won last time, you can still sign up, but we ask that uh, if you did win last time, and somehow we do fill up, we might ask you to sit that one out just because. Yeah. That'll be easy. Let's do a <clears throat> winter wonderland theme. A winter wonderland theme? Yeah. Uh, whatever holiday you celebrate, you can dress up as. Like or... Mariah Carey? Oh, if we all came as Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas. <laughs> that, was cute. that was cute. Okay. Um, so that sounds good. And what else? Anything else? That's all I Did have. you show the ring? I didn't show the ring. Kiss the ring. I made this gorgeous ring as well. And I don't honey, know if you're, you guys need a magnifying glass honey, or not, but it's You might uh, need to go for a wax. <laughs> I'm keeping it real during COVID times. Well, I guess uh, men have Movember. <laughs> Movember. <laughs> Women. I guess don't shave after. This is Movember. <laughs> you gotta mow this down. But so what? Who cares? Okay. I mean, it's 2020. No one, whatever. This is your pandemic Hall Halloween episode 2020. Yes, we hope you had some laughs. Sorry for a little bit of tears maybe in there. So we're very honored. Donna, we're thinking of you. We are thinking of you. Thank Donna, you for thank you very much. being special and for allowing us to widen our net of friends yes no we really appreciate it and happy halloween everybody and johan play us out
Okay. <laughs> was that a total shit show? I think so, but maybe it was fun. <laughs>